Thank you all. Thank you, uh, Infotech. Thank you, War India and Dr. Deepak and team. Thank you so much. I, I wish I could be there in person and I was supposed to be there in person. Uh, last minute, I had to fly into Hyderabad early this morning. So I'm dialing in from Hyderabad. Sorry about this. Hope to see you uh, <clears throat> sometime in person in the coming time. And, and thank you for a very warm welcome. Um, the topic is about the remote work and technologies. Um, and it's actually very appropriate that, you know, I had to fly in and dial in remotely here. Um, from Hyderabad. Let me, um, my name is Rishi and I relocated back to India in 2021 after spending all my career um, in, uh, in US. I'm very excited to be here as I see, you know, the new technologies shaping up uh, India. Very excited to be part of the journey. So I, I represent the company Visal. We are a digital airport company. And today I'll walk you through, you know, the lessons we have learned in making, you know, the remote work efficient and the use of technologies even in some tough places like the uh, airports, right? Um, a brief introduction about Visal. Uh, Visal is an end-to-end -end technology partner for the airport ecosystem. Uh, when we say technology partner, you know, it looks at all the technologies that are at the airport, whether it's the kiosks, printers, uh, Wi-Fi, small cells, networks, um, databases, CCTV cameras, and you name it, right? And now you have the new technologies coming up like biometrics, facial recognition systems, uh, cell baggage drops. They are all part you know, the technologies that we manage and we run them by 24 by 7. And all these, uh, this is a very hardcore operations for us uh, at the airport technology operation. And this is aided by a lot of digital intervention and transformation that we continuously do, spanning analytics, IoT, and various you know, automation. So we are already present at, you know, we uh, supply technology and do end-to-end -end operations in multiple airports like Delhi airport, Hyderabad airport, upcoming new Goa airport, and even overseas uh, like in Kuwait. Um, we, uh, our technology basically supports up to 100 million passengers per annum. So that shows you the power of, you know, uh, how we need to keep our technology up and running through both good and bad times. You know, whether it's COVID or not, we just have to, you know, walk through this uh, technology. We have to just make sure the networks uh, and the endpoints are continuously running and there is a good passenger experience, good customer experience as we go through it. When I say airport, you know, I don't mean just the mainstream airport. It's the entire ecosystem which, which focuses on the mainstream airport. Also, you know, uh, the cargo, the retail, the parking, and even the new uh, smart airport cities that are being developed. So we are a technology partner, a solution partner uh, for all these different verticals which are part of the airport ecosystem. Now, if we just step aside a little bit from the airports and we look at just the enterprises, uh, what is happening around them, uh, airport is you know, one example of an enterprise. Um, so uh, whether you look at healthcare, universities, uh, corporates, uh, look at large public venues, uh, manufacturing, uh, what you notice now is that customer experience has become paramount where customers do care about, you know, personalization. Uh, they do care about, you know, uh, basically, uh, uh, basically um, hyper personalization even in today's world. And, and that's the way, you know, customers are able to connect with the businesses. Now, to, to be able to offer that uh, very good customer experience, a business needs to think through about certain pillars on a continuous basis. And when one of them is the continuity, where business has to ensure that it's operational all the time, um, despite you know the attacks, cyber attacks, ransomware attacks, despite the different attacks that we see. Um, productivity and efficiency is the name of the game. While each business is looking to grow their top line, um, it's extremely important you know, to optimize our bottom line and also make our operations efficient. Uh, that's the only way uh, today, you know, you are able to compete with businesses and offer offer basically a value to your customers. And finally, you know, we live in a world where um, customer demands are rapidly changing. And as a business, you have to evolve where you have to subscribe to a flexibility of being flexible and agile and yet staying very steadfast and steady in terms of your deliveries uh, so that you can react to the changing conditions. And that's where, again, you know, a lot of digital technologies come handy to, to offer this. Uh, so this is, you know, applicable across all the enterprises, if you just think through this. Um, 
Um, and this is very much applicable in the airports also. Uh, airports are no different. Uh, it's just that the bar in the airport in terms of continuity, uh, the business continuity is lot, lot, lot higher uh, compared to say few other business verticals. Now the shifts that we have been seeing in the airport industry and when I look at the airport industry and I see the paradigm shifts happening in it, they, they are very similar analogies you can draw with other industries and verticals. And uh, the challenge number one that we see is there is a demand for us to increase the scale, the capacity, the number of customers we can handle, the cargo we can handle, very similar to the scale demands that you see in other business verticals. Um, it's just the type of customers and the type of you know the products differ out there. That's one difference. But otherwise, the scale demands are still the same out there. Um, margins keep getting squeezed uh, because uh, customers do want great service. Uh, competition is coming up. Um, so, you know, um, there is always a threat of price erosion or, you know, the margin decline. And hence, you have to always think of either value add services or, you know, the additional services. In our case, you know, we look at some of the uh, non-aviation services also like retail, parking. And that's how that's the trend you will see in other businesses also where people are continuously looking for diversified stream of revenues to move forward. Customer is getting very savvy. In our case, it's a digital traveler. You know, they are using iPads, phones, all kinds of devices um, at home and they carry bring the same devices to airports. And that's what they use uh, for accessing the different portions of the airport, something that we need to be very aware of and, and provide them that particular environment. Security and safety concerns in airport are two kind, not only the physical, but also the cybersecurity. And I believe the latter kind of cybersecurity, you know, every business is grappling with today. And in fact, moving forward after this black swan event of COVID, the lesson we have learned is we need to be prepared uh, from safety in terms of, you know, the communicable disease also. Uh, there will be people at airport who are helping the passengers. How do you make sure, you know, you are able to do um, the detection of communicable disease without being impacted? And finally, as a business, you know, you have to be a good citizen um, for the planet, good citizens in the corporate so the ESG uh, sustainability drive that becomes very critical um, as you, you know march forward in your business paradigm. Uh, I think the last piece is again very common across across the various industries and verticals. So when I look very carefully, all the challenges that I've cited here for the airport industry they are very similar to the other verticals. It's just that your customer product changes. Uh, that will be one change, but otherwise it's very similar. And you will notice that. The answers that we are looking for in the um, airport industry are very similar in terms of technology, which, uh, which other verticals will touch upon as well. You know, whether I use, um, uh, you know, the uh, upcoming 5G networks coupled with Wi-Fi so that I can provide great coverage to my customers in the airport, you know, whether we are looking at, say, uh, um, uh, drones for inspection of the, of the MRO facility, or you know, uh, drones for my surveillance. Similarly, I can use IoT sensors uh, so that you know uh, we can basically um, uh, uh, measure the energy, uh, measure the uh, utilization of energy, utilization of water, utilization of power. So many things, and all these IoT sensors have to connect onto the onto the networks, whether it's a 5G networks, 4G network, Wi-Fi network. Now, coupled with those of you are aware, um, India is coming out with, uh, in the coming time, a very heavy use of biometrics. It has just started, but in the coming time, in the coming quarters and years, you will see that people will be entering into the airport through a facial recognition system. Uh, your face will become your ID. Uh, that's what the biometric is about. And, and that is what, you know, the Digi Yatra is about, for those of you who have heard about it, a great government initiative. And if you look across some of these technologies, uh, even the biometric and facial recognition system around the world, you see them in other verticals also, whether it is access to the manufacturing floors, it's access to the stadiums, uh, access to other public venues, you see more and more use of biometric systems and facial recognition systems. And, um, and you know, it's a, it's a very similar concept and technology being applied here in the airports. Of course, you have to marry with the business process of the airport vertical. 
and that's where i think a lot of verticals you know kind of differ in how we marry the technologies uh, for the different business verticals now one might feel you know there are other advanced technologies which uh, we at airport uh, technology stack are looking at like blockchain somebody might wonder why blockchain here in the airport ecosystem uh, airport ecosystem just like other verticals and industries is a very complex ecosystem where there's a multi party negotiation you know whether it's an operations vendors suppliers uh, handlers uh, and one of the best ways to to basically negotiate contracts negotiate sla's negotiate you know um, the other uh, dependencies is through a technology like blockchain uh, which has you know proven itself in a multi party negotiation and a multi party trust system if you would uh, so that's the again you know the concept being utilized uh, here in the airport and the extension of the airport is now the smart airport cities uh, the the area around the airports like the uh, delhi aero city uh, which are getting more and more smart and it's a very similar use of technologies uh, all the communication technologies i talked about blockchain digital twin and then cloud smart parking ar vr ar based navigation augmented reality based navigation all this will become more and more mainstream in the coming years so uh, so hopefully you know this gives you a little bit of an idea um, how the airports just like any other industry around us are going to transform themselves with the use of the emerging technologies now what we did um, during the covid time you know we had to keep the airports up and running so we came out with lot of other systems which are contactless contactless touchless and yet seamless for passenger journey uh um, next time you start traveling through airports you will start seeing systems like the like the uh systems you know where you are basically showing your e boarding uh next time you start showing your face in the coming year in the coming uh, months and quarters and all these systems are well integrated with the other back end systems in the airport to give a seamless journey to the passenger now this is something that we learned um during the lean periods of the covid where we had to kind of you know reinvent ourselves uh but now this is slowly becoming more and more mainstream technology and one one such technology which i just described is you know automated passenger processing system for us um this flows really well into uh, one of the technologies i touched upon which is the digi yatra a great government initiative um and that brings together multiple technologies of like facial recognition system uh biometrics uh e gates all these have to come together to allow the passenger to go through the airport from curb to gate uh basically as he enters the airport he or she and gets to the flight in a very short period of time and in a seamless manner so that's where you know uh, this technology comes handy which means there'll be less contact uh with the human beings in the coming time uh very safe so tomorrow again if you are hit with some black swan event like covid uh will be lot better prepared and and thanks you know lot of cutting edge emerging technologies that we can use but look at the other benefits of this so this is not only about you know uh, how do you better utilize these uh, technologies uh from um from your nox and and other areas but also it gives you an insight and analytics into where exactly the passenger is into the airport as the passenger passes through different biometric systems different sensors you kind of know where the traffic flow is where the passengers are are they spending more time in the queues are they in the retail are they in the lounge and thereby you can then start offering more services towards the customers the services that they potentially would care about you can manage your airport operations and security a lot better so uh, so this increases the efficacy overall in the system so um, so that's i think the one of the beauty of you know using um, these uh, uh, emerging technologies around us um, which other industries have also been uh, uh, looking at very critically uh, very few people realize that you know airports are going very high tech also in the coming time and and this is just you know one of the uh, many examples uh, which i just wanted to share with you here Uh, of how you know different technologies have come together and on top of it you can easily build an analytics uh, framework uh, to start you know uh, taking care of passenger needs even uh, better in the coming time frame um one small example like you know use of some some of these technologies uh, there has to be a business benefit end of the day 
you know uh, whether you are using these technologies to uh, to to basically uh, offer more value to customer or to you know um, help you in lean times like the covid times uh, where most of your staff was working remotely and yet you had to get your business operations going end of the day there has to be an roi a very tangible roi besides the roe roe is return on experience and roi we all understand return on investment and what we have shown is the technologies we put in place for roe return on experience they gave us very tangible dividends on roi as well for example in hyderabad we saw a great improvement 3x improvement in the queue management when we started putting some of these technologies i just talked about like automated passenger processing processing systems e boarding uh, some of these technologies um, and and we could you know derive insights from you know where the uh, congestions are happening and and that basically gave us idea how better we can manage the queuing systems and and few more congestion points in the airport by deriving insights from these technologies so that gave us you know three put more improvement in the passenger flow uh, and that is a very tangible business value uh, it means you know you are wasting less fuel fuel of the airlines at the airports in case they are able to board passengers early you are able to get you know more traffic going through it you are able to avoid the overcrowding and hence you know any security concerns so the benefits are very tangible and very uh, very high benefits uh, when you start using these technologies so that was you know one example of you know where we deployed the set of technologies uh, to help us in the remote monitoring of the assets and and, and to have our operations running 24 by 7 no matter what whether the uh, black swan events like covid or not they actually gave us a very good roi to our to our end customers which happened to be the which happened to be the airports out here now <clears throat> what i quickly want to conclude with uh, i know i'm just running uh, one or two minutes over my time um, um, is uh, corona you know even though it was very painful but what it taught us as a company is uh, i have put the uh, you know the full abbreviation of corona if you would for if you have to speak in a technical language uh, what you see colored in c it taught us about collaboration it taught us about you know how to run our operations in an uninterrupted manner and and then by looking to you know some of the resilient systems and while not compromising on the performance and and to do all this you know we needed uh, basically an ICT layer a networking fabric layer communication fabric layer which is running 24 by 7 uh, that's where you know the n of you know corona stands for networking here and uh, all this is not possible you know unless there is basically a massive amount of collaboration among the workforce there are advocates and champions uh, who who basically espouse uh, the use of this great uh, emerging technologies um, the the principles of change management the principles of you know finding the first adopters in your organ- organization and among the customers they stay the same uh, when you bring in the new tech in and we realized it was same uh during the covid times also when we had to enhance our technology uh, the same you know set of you know the change management techniques uh finding the finding the people you know who would champion the ethos of of taking this forward in the organization and into the customer base that stayed the same that never changes i think that part of human behavior i truly feel during all my work in the industry uh whether through the thick or thin covid or not that is something that one part of human behavior we really can't compromise on whether you work remote you work local you manage remotely or you know you make it uh, uh, manage locally uh, you use cloud on prem no matter what what, te- what uh, technologies you use or you use hybrid models uh, all the way from chain management to adoption and that is something i feel we can never replace and and that we need to even augment even further to be honest uh because the times are going to change even more around us uh, and and we'll have to adopt again so um, thank you very much um uh, this you know concludes uh, uh, some of the ways that i wanted to share with you about you know how we have adopted this the questions uh, now or later